Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do a fun painting. So let's get started. We're going to start off today with a little bit of yellow on the two inch brush. And we'll just start here in the center and just blend outward. Let it get nice and soft right up here. And we can change to some red now. Grab a little red and just paint a little red around the yellow and let them blend together. Now when you're done with that, you can take a little bit of blue on the brush and go into some red. And then with that, you can come up here and just paint the top portion and then let it blend down. Now with some red and some yellow, kind of make a nice orange color. With the fan brush, we can come up here and just begin painting little clouds right up here. Just using the top corner of the fan brush. Now when you're finished painting your clouds, you can take a clean brush and just come in here and blend the bottom using tiny circles. That's all we're worried about right now is just blending out the bottom. Just tiny little circles, then you fluff and then go across. Now when you're done blending out your clouds, you can take a little bit of white on the fan brush and grab some orange, the same cloud color we used. And we can come up here and just highlight just the top of these little clouds. Now, with a clean brush and tiny circles, we can just blend out the bottom of the highlight. And then just like we did on the cloud, we'll just fluff it like that. Now sometimes it's fun to take your finger and a little white paint and come up here and just paint in a little sun just like that. And you can take a brush and just lightly blend that out too. You can even come in here and maybe drift a cloud right over it. Now when you're finished with your sky, you can come up here and just pull off that masking tape we got up there. I just put a piece of tape across there to give us a nice horizon line. And before we started, I covered uh, the canvas here, this lower portion, with uh, blue and red. So I'll take a little of that and just put, a, put it up there. Now I started with uh, a black acrylic and let that dry completely. Then I put this oil paint on top of that. Now we can go back to the fan brush and some white. And we can come up here and paint just little tiny background waves. Now because we put that, that color there to start with, it's not totally bright white. Kind of a nice blue color. And now, when you're done with that, you can come up here and just sketch in where your big wave is going to be. Somewhere right about there. And then we can have some smaller waves kind of in the background like that. Now with a clean fan brush, you can just blend some of that color back. Just like this. Now with some brown and white on the fan brush, we can come up here and just drop in like a little island thing 
right there. Now I'm going to add a little bit more brown and blue to that color. Make it just a little bit darker. And I'm going to come up here and do another little rock. Now I'm going to make my color even darker and put in one more right in front of that one. Right there. And now you can take the fan brush and just put a little highlight on that rock just by tapping. Now when you're finished with your rocks you can take some white and blue and some yellow on the fan brush and just put in an eye in the wave there. Now with a clean brush and just tiny circles you can blend out the eye there. Now with the fan brush you can begin putting some foam on your wave, just like that. Now with some blue and red and maybe some yellow on the fan brush, we can come up here and just paint some shadow foam right here. And we'll just let it splash in the rock and just come up like that. And now back to the fan brush with the white on it. We can come up here and just put a little highlight on the foam, just like this. Now with the fan brush and some of that same white we've been using, we can kind of come in here and just paint in like some foam right in here. Now with the knife and some white paint, we can come in here and just drop in a little ripple right there. Now with a fan brush, you can just blend those back. And now with a one inch brush and some white and maybe a little yellow, we can come right here and pull straight down. And then go across and make it look like wet sand. Now with the script liner, you can take some thin dark paint and come up here and just kind of redefine that edge and make that wave really pop. You can also come in here and add little lines, like little foam patterns or something in here. And now with the script liner, you can come in here and just paint some little birds up here. Alright, I think we're done. I had fun. I hope you did too. Uh, I'm going to be doing more videos soon. And thanks for watching.